This video is intended to guide the user through the correct setup and installation of a hydraulic attachment, such as a breaker, using a WebTech hydraulic tester. If the hydraulic flow from the excavator to the breaker is not set correctly, it can lead to wear or damage to the attachment, as well as unsafe and inefficient operation. Always read and understand the supplied operating manual for the excavator and attachment before undertaking any of the actions shown in this video. Check that the excavator's load-bearing capacity is sufficient for the attachment. Make sure all operators comply with the personal protective equipment requirements of both the site and the manufacturer's equipment manuals. This could include protective helmet, safety glasses, protective gloves, safety shoes, ear defenders and high visibility clothing. It's important to ensure your excavator circuit is providing the correct hydraulic oil flow and that oil can return at low pressure. In this video we demonstrate how the WebTech DHM hydraulic tester can be used to confirm the hydraulic flow and return line pressure on your excavator. Ensure you use clean and undamaged connection hoses and hydraulic lines of the correct specification and quality as detailed in the operating instruction manuals. Connect the WebTech DHM hydraulic tester to the auxiliary hydraulic circuit. All connections should be tight and leak free, but do not over tighten. Fully open the isolation valves of the auxiliary hydraulic circuit. Start the engine on the excavator and enable the hydraulic power. Then select the operating program for the relevant attachment, as specified in the operating instructions. When the oil has reached operating temperature, activate the auxiliary hydraulic circuit. The assistant should then adjust the loading valve on the tester to increase the pressure until the pressure relief valve or the auxiliary hydraulic circuit opens. This can be seen on the tester by a reduction in the measured flow as the oil passes over the relief valve instead. Check these maximum flow and pressure values against the operating instructions for the breaker. If any adjustment is needed, reduce the load pressure by turning the loading valve handle counterclockwise before adjusting the auxiliary circuit relief valve as appropriate. The auxiliary circuit relief valve can normally be found on the excavator's valve block. Consult the manual for details. Adjust the auxiliary hydraulic system relief valve Make sure it is at the correct pressure by loading the system using the loading valve on the hydraulic tester. Do this until the correct operating pressure is indicated, as outlined in the attachment's operating instructions. At this point, check the level of the hydraulic flow in correspondence with the adjusted operating pressure. Refer to the operating manual to make sure these match the required hydraulic flow and operating pressure for the tool to be attached. If any adjustment is needed, this can usually be done by altering the engine's RPM or by changing to a different operating program. To ensure optimum performance, the auxiliary return line pressure should be minimal. For breakers, a small amount of pressure, typically 10 bar, can help to prevent potential rebound damage. If the auxiliary return line pressure is unusually high, this could be caused by poor hose routing incorrect hose size, use of compact bends or quick-release couplings. If possible, modify as necessary to ensure maximum operating life of the attachment. Then, recheck the auxiliary return line back pressure to ensure safe operation. Prior to fitting the attachment to the excavator, observe all safety requirements and ensure that a safe method of communication has been agreed between operator and assistant. A commonly used method is a series of hand signals. With the values tested and verified, the breaker can be attached and the operating program can be selected with confidence that the breaker will operate at optimal efficiency. For further information on WebTech hydraulic testers, visit our website or contact our sales team today.